hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Maya and thank you very much for clicking on today's video today we have another black girl transformation and I hope you do like it let's get straight into the video so right now I'm just trying to clean off her face I'm using a makeup cleanser and a cotton pad and I'm just trying to achieve a very clean canvas so I'm just wiping everything off her face and then I'm going to prime her face using the elf hydrating primer I'm going to spread this on her face and then massage it into her skin using a brush. And then after we have done after we are done with the priming of her face, we are going to move on to eyeshadow. And today the primer I'm going to be using is the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 01. And I'm just going to spread this um, on her lid, on her eyelid, and then I'm going to massage it and blend it out using a brush. This is a normal eyeshadow blending brush. That is what I'm using to blend it out. And today I want to achieve a very simple eyeshadow so I'm going to be using two colors and then um, the eyeshadow palette we are going to be using is the Makeup Revolution X, I, uh, X Patricia Bright um, eyeshadow palette and this is the Rich in London and right now I'm going to use the brown shade I showed as the transition color and I'm going to blend it out on both sides of the eyes I really like this eyeshadow palette because it has all the warm tones you can use for your everyday eyeshadow palette it isn't really convenient for traveling but it does the job and then for her lid space I'm going to be using the brown shade I just showed and I'm just going to be patting this on on her lid space and later go a little bit above it and also part the same eyeshadow color um, shade and, and part the same eyeshadow shade over there and then later blend the two of them which is the transition shade and the main eyeshadow shade I'm going to blend the two of them so that they are seamless for foundation I'm going to be using the Smashbox foundation it looked too red for her and this is the shade 4.25 so I'll later go in with the sleek foundation in the shade LP six and i'm just going to use this to mute the redness and uh, to tone down the redness not to mute it but i want to tone it down a little bit and then i'll be blending it out with this brush i've got from real techniques i feel like this is a dupe because the price i've got it for and the original price of the real techniques brushes it, it 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 doesn't correlate it doesn't match but it's so good it feels like i got an original and then i'm just going to use a beauty blender to pat her whole face out just to avoid any harsh lines i might have gotten from using the brush which which rarely ever happens now to conceal her to highlight her face i'm going to be using this concealer from um, fenty beauty in the shade um, 350 and i'm just going to blend this out in the areas that um, I want to highlight which is under her eyes, her forehead, the bridge of the nose and her chin and mouth area. Those are the places when, when she walks into a room, like th those are the points people would see first. So I, I want to, you know, highlight it using a concealer, obviously, you are going to use a concealer, Sarah. But anyway, I'm blending this out using the same beauty blend the same beauty blender I use for the foundation but I'm, I'm using the other side so the clean the cleaner part that doesn't have the foundation shade and for concealer to contour her nose at first I used the Fenty Beauty Pro filter concealer in the shade 450 but I realized the 450 isn't as dark as I wanted to be for her skin so I went in with the makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade and C18 and then I'm using this I blended the two of them together just to achieve a very beautiful contour for a queen and then to set her face I'm using the R I, I like saying RMCA because if you know the song RMCA but I think it's RCMA but I, I've been trying to do this voice over and I realize I've been saying RMC RMCA RMCA instead of RCMA 
but anyway you get the gist so this is what I'm using to set the highlighted areas and you can see how it goes onto the skin plus if you want me to do like a review on like some cheap brushes you could get instead of you know investing in all these morphe brushes because all these brushes i get are very cheap but i get a very good use out of them and then to con to set her contour areas i'm going to be using my all-time favorite which is the fancy beauty pro filter in the shade this is a soft matte powder foundation in the shade 495 now using this as a contour shade and even um, the shade I have in as a powder as a powder foundation is 450 I would use those ones to set my face or to contour but I don't know about using it as a whole foundation but right now I'm setting I'm reverse contouring with my Inglot um, loose setting powder in the shade dark and what I'm doing right now is I'm just dusting off the excess powder on the areas that um, I, I, I highlighted so I'm using this brush and I'm gently setting I'm gently dusting it off you want to do it gently to avoid also um, strokes from the brush and sometimes if you're heavy handed as well you know the brush could take up to could wipe off the whole product and then you have almost done a cosmetic job so right now I'm going to contour her nose and for contouring I don't really like a harsh contour on the nose which is why if you watch my videos anytime I contour I use this face palette from Patricia Bright because it's not as dark as you know the fancy beauty so it makes sense and now to bronze her face I'm going to be using the bronzer I just showed on the screen which is from Makeup Revolution and this is the shade that I really love this um, bronzer now the point of bronzing is to bring back warmth in the areas that you have contoured so that you don't get like a very cool tone or harsh contour and now I'm going to use again the same face palette from Patricia Bright's collaboration I'm going to be using the blush shade over there to you know um, bring some you know redness to her cheeks you know so that when but somebody um, flirts with her and she smiles it's like she, she's blushing but it's fake you guys it's fake and anyway to highlight I'm going to be using this highlighter I also got from a makeup revolution those people should sponsor me and my 30 followers because I use their products a lot but unfortunately this doesn't have a specific name because I got it from a reseller's website so if you want to see if you want to buy this product you can leave a comment and then I'll leave the just I'll leave a link of where I, I got it from obviously if you are in Poland because this product is very good and pigmented and to line her lips I'm going in with the NYX lip liner in the shade club hopper after lining her lips I'm going to be using another blow I got from makeup obsession which is uh, which is in the shade DC. I got it as part of their collaboration with an influencer called Jordan I don't really know the influencer, but I know this lip gloss are bomb and then I'm blending it out with this um, This brush and I'll later go in with a clear lip glow from NYX and this is the this is everything from NYX just to you know blend everything out and make it look so beautiful and then I'll be setting her face foot so I'm just going to um, put some shimmer shade in, in the inner tear dot um, of her eyes and I use the same eyeshadow palette we used for this look and then to set her face to marinate her face to bring everything together I'm using this from makeup obsession it is the fix me setting spray and we are done with the look the look thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video bye